Hi people, it is Shiggs here, and I'm doing an unboxing and review of the Amazing Spider-Man 3D, Blu-ray, and DVD uh, disc set combo pack. Um, so yeah, this uh, there's this uh, lenticular uh, cover, same as the Avengers cover, slip cover. It's lenticular means it's in 3D. There's a lot of detail that went into it. And, uh, yeah. It says, The Amazing Spider-Man in 3D. Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, and DVD. And I'll take this slipcover off. Uh, and I'll show you the side. It says 3D, Blu-ray, Blu-ray disc, and DVD video on the side. With a picture of Spider-Man as uh, Spider-Man in 3D, Columbia Pictures, and uh, yeah, and uh, here is the back. Um, it's a description of the movie: the best Spider-Man yet by Marlo Stern of Newsweek. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's a description of the movie. There's um. Andrew Garfield is Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. Blu-ray 3D exclusive. Interactive 3D film school with director Mark Webb. 3D progression re real. Okay. So this is the back. Yeah. I think I might have said that already. Blu-ray exclusives. Amazing Spider-Man second screen app. Download the app to your iPad, Sony tablet, S... Or Xperia Tablet S and sync the, to the film for an even more immersive experience. I think, yeah, I think that's what they did for uh, the Avengers, where you go on a on an app or something, and you um can follow along with a movie and you get exclusive uh, info. Okay, Rite of Passage. Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man Reborn, over 90 minutes of in-depth making of featurettes, um, pre-visualization sequences, and progression reels, and plus, this is on the DVD too, um, deleted scenes, audio commentary with Mark Webb, Avi Arid, and Matt Tomach. I don't even know that. how to pronounce it. Tomach, Tomach, I don't know. Uh, stunt rehearsals, the Oscorp Archives Production Art Gallery, and um, a bit of trivia, I already said this when I was doing this unboxing. Uh, they agreed, Sony and Disney agreed, for the, um, the Oscorp building from this movie to be placed in New York City for the Avengers. But... By the time that they agreed by it, they couldn't fit it in because the, the skyline for New York City was already uh, drawn up and designed for the Avengers before they could include it. So, uh, yeah. And uh, here's pictures from the movie. Uh, Dennis Leary, I think, as Captain Gwen, uh, Captain Stacy. Peter and Gwen, the lizard, and the girl who plays Gwen. It's a bunch of um, copyright info and uh, other information about this movie. The uh, different studios, the um, formats, discs, and it is ABC, region free, for the Blu-ray discs. I'm not sure about the DVD, though. I'll check that out in a second for you guys. Okay, so here is the uh, case. Um, back is pretty much the same. The side is pretty much the same. So yeah, and this uh, this uh, case is slightly bigger than the one for the Avengers. It's like almost twice as big. Okay, okay, never mind. 
Okay, um, so, uh, yeah, it's about twice as big as the Avengers, because the Avengers, uh, is, I've already put the discs in the steelbook, except for the digital copy, um, pretty much, the Avengers case came like this, which was stupid, because Disney is fucking stupid, they're trying to make themselves cool, um, uh, because they own the rights to Marvel, and they own the rights to Lucasfilm, so, yeah, I'm pissed about that, I hate Disney like that, you know, uh, okay, so, um, uh, yeah, so the, the disc case, uh, fits two discs on each side, which was what came in the four disc pack, and, uh, yeah, I do not like this case whatsoever. I like that I got the steel book for Avengers. I wish that they made a steel book for Spider Man. But you know, that's just that's just something that I wish that they would have done. I think they did make a steel book, but like an iron pack or something like that. Also what I wish is that they included a iTunes um disc for the digital copy in here instead of in, which was included with an ultraviolet which was in addition to the ultraviolet digital copy code but you know uh they didn't the the this is only a an ultraviolet digital copy code um which i have already used so if you guys do see it and you write it down i don't know how many uses you're gonna get out of it because i already used it a little while ago by the time you see this so, uh, yeah, and I rearranged two of the discs, the, uh, DVD, um, and the 3D Blu-ray disc. So, um, yeah, and it comes with three waivers, flyers. This one is for the Amazing Spider-Man game, which came out earlier this year, a few days before the movie, and it is for the a human spider suit from the first Spider-Man film before Peter got his costume down um, when he was trying to do wrestling to make money. Um, yeah, so that's the human spider suit. Uh, the code is little w e capital E X F A uh, non capital U P Q code, and that is for PS3. Because this is Sony, and Sony owns the rights to PS3. I hate you, PS3 people. You are so lucky. Because, uh... Or maybe I can buy this on Xbox. I'll look later. And I'll, I'll put a... I'll put a... I'll put it in the description if it's available on Xbox. For... Download. Um... So yeah, and there's the human spider suit. Um... And here's the... Ultraviolet flyer. This is Sony Rewards, and you can register this code to get movie rewards from Sony. And here's the ultraviolet code. Uh, all the letters are capitals, so just have the capsule look on if you're gonna try and use this. Z three A N M eight Q J U eight five two M Y one zero for the digital copy code. And it expires uh, 1109-2014. So about uh, three years. No, two. Two years after this came out. Which isn't that bad. You know, I only wish that since Disney owns the rights to every other Marvel franchise, I only wish that um they uh, had some sense to include a digital copy. Of, for iTunes in this, which I was expecting, because, you know, it said five disc set online, so that's what I was, because I knew that Ultraviolet doesn't do the discs, you know, and, you know, this year is for Marvel, only one year for uh, DC, so, um, yeah, and uh, I'll show you guys the discs, um, which, by the way, uh, the sides, they're really easy to pop out the discs. I mean, Sony really designed these cases really good, or whoever designed them really good. 
Okay, it's really good. All you have to do is push down on the middle, and you can easily just pop this out. You don't need to hold on to it to take it out or anything. You just pop the disc out, and you can just pick it up. And uh, yeah, so here's the 3D Blu-ray disc. It says The Amazing Spider-Man in 3D with the Blu-ray 3D symbol. As I said, it's region free for the Blu-ray discs. Um, I'll have to look for a second when I get to the DVD disc. And it has a picture of Peter's Spider-Man mask on it. With, in the eye is um, the Oscorp building. Yeah, Oscorp building in New York City. And, uh, yeah, so... Here is the DVD disc. Uh, originally it was the other way around with the DVD and the 3D Blu-ray. Uh, that's, uh, Dr. Connors. Um, I can't be 100%, but I really think that this disc is also region free. It doesn't say region 1, 2, or 3 on it, so, or 4. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's region free. I could be wrong about that. So don't fault me on it if I do, if I'm wrong, you know. And here's one thing I don't get why. I think it was the handler or something. But, um, for this, uh, this comes off. This, like, snapped off. This part, um, snapped off. That holds the extra disc container in there, in its place, you know. But I could probably fix that with some super glue. So yeah, and here are the Blu-ray discs. The first one is the regular Blu-ray with uh, Andrew Garfield's face on it, with uh, New York City right behind it, right, right behind him. As I said, they use both are region free. And, uh, here is the special features, which I wish that was a digital copy, and they put the special features on either the 3D disc or the Blu-ray disc like they did for the Avengers, um, but, yeah, whatever, um, of, and this is a picture of Gwen, um, uh, okay, so, um, I'm gonna show you guys the inside, um, The inside artwork, it is a bunch of Spider-Man's webs with, uh, oh, I think it's from the point of view of a bad guy from the movie, where Spider-Man webs him up, because he's looking for the killer of his uncle, of Uncle Ben, played by Martin Sheen, so I, uh, yeah, and it's just a bunch of webs on a, from our point of view of looking out over New York City. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, the, the other side, and, uh, yeah, so that is the Amazing Spider-Man 3D Blu-ray, um, <laughs> 3D Blu-ray DVD disc set. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys later, uh, quick few messages. Follow me on Twitter, link is in the description, go to my channel, go to my second channel, go to, um, check out my other videos, I am currently uploading Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai, Budokai HD collection videos, so, uh, yeah, you can, uh, go see those, um, so, yeah, and, uh, what else, um, comment, I guess, rate this, and subscribe, uh, and, yeah, uh, see you guys later.